Yo, hello guys, good evening. Good evening everyone. We are finally registered for KVK guys. Almost there. King of the Nile registered. Let's go bro. Finally. Finally, the time has come. I can't save gems, it doesn't matter what I do. No matter how hard I try, these days... I cannot hoard gems like in any way. I'm spending all the time. Somehow. Unfortunately. It's very strange, like I used to do 50k gems every month, now somehow I cannot I cannot save, like for the past like 2 weeks I think, 1 to 2 weeks, I haven't saved any gems bro, somehow, I mean I'm always doing like uh, 10 spins or uh, 10 whatever it is, where is Esmeralda, here, so I'm spending gems but still, Still, I cannot stack gems. I mean, most probably it is because I'm not like so dedicated. Now that I'm not streaming every single day, there are some days that I'm skipping uh, gathering gems. And you can see how important it is actually. Now that I'm not 100% dedicated, not every day streaming, you can see how many gems I'm missing by not gathering gems this like two hours, bro. Two hours every day. It's insane how important it is actually. So important. And it's not that it's not like I'm not playing, like when I'm not streaming I'm playing, I'm still playing, but I'm spending more time like on farms and on my free to play or like doing other stuff instead of gathering gems and now you can see I'm paying the price, bro, already. You cannot skip gathering gems. Karwak ready to attack. I also have to do Barbarian Stronghold tonight, it's refreshed. Let's see if we can do some camps, Barbarian camps, when Sarka finishes with uh, gathering food. I just finished Alliance Mobilization today, I did all my quests, 1.4 points guys, and we are not doing so well. I did 1.4. I mean that was the that was the minimum requirement 1.4 so yeah and it doesn't look like it's enough for the first time ever like I think it was like three alliance mobilizations mobilizations in a row that uh, we finished mid table and now we are struggling for some reason
It's going to be fun to watch in the last few hours. That's why I take my time before I make my mind. Very nice. I think I'm going to spend all my alliance credits after I open my inventory, after I open all my all my bugs, I think I'm going to spend all my alliance credits for the first time ever on speed ups or VIP instead of um, passports, to be honest. Or maybe I'll get a few passports and then the rest on VIP or, uh, or speed ups. Most of those, like probably more than 30 of these passports are like with credits already. What next? Welcome, brother. Good evening. How are you? What happened? You got zeroed again? Third time? What's wrong? What did you do? You lost your summer clothes. Your summer clothes, sorry. How, how, what do you mean? How did you how did you lose your summer clothes? Jimmy, welcome, good evening. How are you? All of them. How bro? How is this possible? What happened? Guys, you saw the, the new cavalry commander that everybody was waiting. It's not what we were thinking. It will be guys. It's not what we were expecting. Belisarius Prime, guys. Not so prime, though. To be honest, I think Belisarius Prime is not. It's only going to be like for whales, bro. To be honest, whales or krakens. Sixth March or something, or like fifth March or God knows what March. Your grandmother sent them to to, to garbage. Really? Oh well, that's unfortunate, bro. That's giga unfortunate. It's better if your grandmother never has an access uh, to your uh, clothes again, bro. <laughs> but why would you, why would you do this anyways? Like, they could have given uh, the the clothes to a charity or something, no? Better give them on charity, bro. Don't throw them away. Guys, if you are just doing Barbarian Forts tonight, don't do it. Wait for go for Karwak event. Save your uh, save your AP. There is Karwak event after the reset. The only reason I'm doing this before Karwak is because I need the speed ups and I need the gems and yeah, I'm a, I'm a special, uh, I have a special situation here.
but that was close. Okay, one second, I'm going to jump to my farms because I think they're pretty close to 10k points, alliance contribution, so I want to make sure they get the reward. I'm going to push hard like on everything the next few days. 3kvk I mean, so I need the speedups. Whoa, let's go Nile. I don't think this will be boring since 110 plus kingdoms registered. MD72, welcome, good evening. How is it going? Yes, yes, I don't think it's going to be boring, yeah. Especially since we are registering like a, as a B-seed kingdom, guys. We are registering as a B-seed, so... We have to get some beasts on the other side of the map, hopefully. So, yeah. I hope there will be a lot of faction. What next? Fire it, bro. What's the question? Can we do it with three guys? What do you think? Can I get 1,000 here? You saw that, right? With three tries, bro, we got 1,000. Let's go. 1,000. What's the question, hot next? Tell me. Oh, this guy is not making it. What? So all my farms will go City Hall 24, guys. Free KVK. I have 1400 gold heads. My marches, Nevsky, Joan, Liu Tse, Scipio, Zugia, Herman. Wow, very nice. These are beautiful marches. I win every report with these marches. That's nice. That makes sense. You have 1400 extra gold heads, you mean? Now the question is going to be, whom do you invest next? And the answer is going to be, Puo, I guess. Puo Cubin. Can I get 1000 here also, guys? What do you think? Uh, oh no, bro. Look how close, man. Bro, who bought this? Shall I spend 10 gems? I'll just wait, I guess. Yeah, I have, I have one more try. I have two more tries. I'll wait. Which farm is this? It's farm number three. Yeah, that was a question, right? You were waiting for new calves. Yeah, well, the new calf sucks, bro. If you're not a Kraken or a Whale, I wouldn't suggest, like, you go for Belisarius Prime. If you don't use five to seven marches, you don't go for Belisarius Prime. And again, what? He's going to be secondary. And he's single target. Like, I don't even know. Probably you have to put Zone of Arc. Or, I don't know, someone else. My opinion is go for Huo, bro. Huo, Cubin, and... Uh, after you go for Huo... Bro, I'm, I think that William is still a very good choice, but... Spending right now gold heads on William is not a good idea, though. That's a problem. Like at some point, he has to go. You will win 20 gold head events. 20 gold head on the event with your second account. That's nice. I don't know. I think that cavalry march is just got more complicated right now. Without, for no reason. For no reason, basically. I'll win 20 gold head event. Yeah, sorry, I just read this actually. I thought it was a new comment. Thank God I don't have to go for another march for cavalry. So now I can safely go for Zone of Arc Prime, guys. Now we have the answer to the question of like, where do we spend our heads? And in my case, all my Extra gold heads will go to the John will go to John of Arc, guys. It's good. It's good that the new cavalry commander is not broken. From, uh, from that perspective. Bro, I can get I can get 10k points here too, I think. If I remember to log in, in these accounts before the reset. We are very confused. 
So what's the first? What's the what's the fourth best march, guys, in the game right now? It's Ho with William, right? I think the fourth best march in the game right now is Ho with William. Do we agree on this or we disagree? Opinions? Is there any other like better march? It is right. I mean, you can see Ho everywhere except of Nevsky. So yeah. Since this is the, the fourth best march, I guess you have to put your gold heads there if you have three decent marches, but yeah, I don't know about William, man. I don't know about William, bro. So maybe you can play around with Boudica, I guess. Boudica Prime and something else. I think Boudica Prime will stay for some time. Because don't have here, they have 555. Five, five. Whoa, you have 5551 five, five, William. That's fine, bro. That's very nice. So you should go for Ho, man. Just go for Ho, bro. Ho is amazing. And since you have William, that's that's very nice. I forgot that you that you have a pretty old account and you have old commanders KVK2, KVK3 and goes on. That's that's very good for you actually. So there is no problem. It doesn't matter that Belisarius Prime is not like a game breaking, game breaking champion. Commander, you can go for a uh, Huo. And then 5th March is, I guess, like Bodega Prime YSG, right? The 5th March, at some point, I will have to go. I think in my case, it's better if I go Bodega Prime and YSG as a 4th March because I already have YSG. I'll just have to invest on Bodega. But again, like, the question is do you invest in Bodega Prime, really? Like, the. There is a chance that the new infantry commander is going to be very good, so maybe it's better if I save the gold heads for him. I don't know, Boudica is getting older also. Older and older. Yo, welcome, good evening. Uh, bro, my opinion about uh, Belisarius Prime is, is, is not that good. I think he's like 5th or 6th March, man. Like, if you really want to use him, he's not making it to, to like top 5 Marches, to be honest. Walk you been with uh, William is still a better march and uh, and yeah, Budica Prime YSG is also a better march, I guess. Doesn't matter where are you going to put like Belisarius, so he's probably like sixth or seventh march. And again, I don't know with whom, man. You need a OE. And if he's going to be secondary again, like the primary has to has to do a OE. That wasn't that wasn't a good commander for cavalry guys, to be honest with you. Yeah, in a three cav march scenario, he's if you're if you're a main, let's say you're a main cavalry, he's fine, bro. He's very nice. He's very nice if you're a main cavalry, but you you must be a very old player to be a main cavalry. So I don't see many people benefiting out of it. To be honest, for sure he's not a commander that uh, <laughs> you will go all in. You'll go out of your way and max him, bro. For sure, like there is no main, bro. Exactly, yeah. Most probably there are no mains anymore. So now everybody can chill and go for John of Arc Prime, Nevsky, Huo, business as usual. If you max Techno, there is no main. That's, I guess that's true also. But I mean, you have people that they have like seven, seven legendary sets on cavalry and stuff, so... They did, they did improve farm killing. <laughs> Bro, yeah, farm killing is going to be <laughs> very nice right now. But how many people are going to spend so many gold heads on Belisarius Prime to do farm killing, bro? Like, just for farm killing? 
by the way guys in the end game normally nobody's doing farm nobody's participating in farm killing you don't do it normally and if you do it there are like two people in the whole kvk there are like two people farm killing if there are any so yeah i don't know man i do it <laughs> same i'm hoping for a field cup garrison that's true uh, but I know it won't happen. Bro, Jan Ziska is still very strong, to be honest. I, th I think Jan Ziska is very strong. And that's why I don't see it happening also for the near future. Let's go over Jan Ziska because I never paid attention. Um, I'll go check Jan Ziska right now. I think he's pretty good, right? Vladimir, welcome, brother. Welcome. Good evening. How is it going, bro? We are finally registered, guys. Finally, we registered for KVK. King of the Nile. There are so many kingdoms, apparently, that registered also for King of the Nile. Where is Yanziska? Here. 2.2 plus 250. That's, that's plus is not so much, but it's fine, I guess. 15. That's not so much also. Bro, I thought that the Yanziska was better than this. I mean, you you have 20% cavalry health here, which is okay, but I thought he was a little bit better than this. For sure, he has he's not even close to the Gorgo, but yeah, I use Yanziska Heracles for guys, and that's true. That's nice. Good, don't cancel, <laughs> don't cancel registration this time. I don't think it's going to work, even if they try. I use uh, use Jan Nevsky, so looking forward for new guys on the pair. Well, yeah, yeah, maybe maybe that's like the best thing. But you can use uh, Jan and Heraclius like uh, Fotnex. Because Heraclius basically goes with everybody and he's insane. Can you open SOP, the first screen? This one. Like the stream, what? New Garrison will come soon. Hopefully better, yeah. Yeah, hopefully better than Belly Prime because Belly Prime is like... Nothing special, man. Yeah, third day. You are already in third day or what? I think this started yesterday, no? Bro, I would like to get this one, but... Yeah, maybe I will go and... Uh, maybe I will renew this one, guys. I will renew my 30 day gem supply and I will get this one. The three hours. 12 times. That's, that's a very nice buff. But that's it. Only, only the first one. Belly Prime is like CC 2.0. Third is giving commander, yes. Third day is giving commander. That's true. Like the daily chest. Commanders, uh, commanders that you can get on your daily chest. Bro, it's only 10 heads. Like, I don't even know if it's worth it coming all the way here. This again for whales and krakens. Like, it's only 10 gold heads. And this is useless. Basically, like nothing special. The first one is the best reward, I think, to be honest. The speed ups. Look at my look at my gems, guys. I'm struggling. I'm really struggling. How am I gonna open who? Well, you have to wait for the wheel. Wheel of fortune, brother. Save all your gems and wait for wheel of fortune. Oh, don't tell me we have a farm killer. What is this, bro? Oh my god, bro. We have a farm killer somewhere or something. Not again, man. Who the fuck is this guy? Okay, he's on the other side of the of the map. It's okay. He's not near to my farms. You did full more than gems? No, I didn't. Guys, I didn't spend a single gem during the more than gems event. Not a single gem, and still I don't have gems. I don't know. I cannot. I cannot. I'm not gathering enough, guys. I'm not streaming every day right now. Um, I'm streaming like. Uh, like every every two days, I'm streaming every two days, let's say. So when I'm not streaming, I'm not gathering gems. I'm spending time on my farms, on my free to play, and that has like a serious impact, a very big effect on my gems. Like you can see it. When I was streaming every single day, 
we were making 50k gems per month. And now, for the past like 1 to 2 weeks, I'm stuck on 10k gems, bro. But of course, like, I'm spending a uh, few gems here and there, like... On every spin, I'm doing like 10 spins, let's say. On every event, I'm doing 10 spins. So, I'm spending some gems, but... You wanna see my war movies? Which war movies? I'm not a director. Which, which war movies, bro? Time to take out the credit card. Probably I'll take out my credit card in a bit and uh, after streaming I will buy like uh, one gem supply, guys. One gem supply 30 days. Just just to get this. And that's all. Giga Whale. Mega Whale Tactics. Okay, let's not forget to do Sunset Canyon, by the way. Very important. War videos. I'm going to stream live every single fight, guys. If I'm online and I'm fighting, I'm going to stream it live. I also have streamed live uh, fights before. You can find it on my lives or on my playlist. I think I have a playlist like with, uh, with PvP only. Let me see. Yeah. Here, everything, everything I streamed or like recorded, I have it on this playlist, guys, from previous KVKs or. Yeah, and hopefully next KVK I'm going to stream everything. Even if I cannot talk, even if I cannot use camera, I will still stream it, guys. If I'm online and I'm fighting. You met a girl from Belgium in Antalya. Well, that's rare, man. That's rare. She was a tourist or what? So after the registration is finished in one day, then we have two days of matchmaking or one day of matchmaking, right? And when does pre-KVK start? Like in how many days we have the pre-KVK phase? First phase of pre-KVK, man, I cannot wait. Tourists, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Belgians are traveling a lot, bro. They like traveling. And they have a lot of money also, so it's quite easy. She was too perfect. <laughs> then Fotnex is in love. Fotnex is in Guys, it seems that my my free to my free to play account, like the kingdom that I'm in, they're going to dominate the they're going to dominate the KVK. I think they're so strong. Wait, let me show you. KVK maybe nine days. Whoa, that's that's so much. I cannot wait so much. I hope not. I hope it's earlier. Then they are completely wrong about like the timing. We start uh, we started um, training already for pre KVK. 
Can you see this, guys? This is on my on my free to play. Look how strong is the kingdom. I'm in this kingdom, 3470, guys. Look how strong they are, bro. Okay. Look at this. These two first alliances on the kingdom. They have almost 1.6 billion, bro. Almost 1.6 billion. And then look at the rest of the kingdoms. 582, 529. That's two different kingdoms. We are talking about the serious gap. Serious gap in power. Let's see. I got blinded. I could live with uh, her smile forever. For forever. You should have said this, bro, to her. Maybe you would be in Belgium now. So I start training troops and they are finishing in 6 days guys. So I hope the pre game game phase like it's earlier. I hope it's in maximum 6 days. You are talking on WhatsApp. She invited you to Belgium. Whoa, let's go bro. Potrix is going to become a Belgian citizen. Nice, nice. Good luck bro, good luck. I think I'm going to do Sunset Canyon right now. It doesn't even matter. There are too many stronger accounts than mine. I said if I come there I don't pay for hostel. <laughs> Bro, you have to pay. Who is going to pay? The girl. Are you kidding? You don't even know here. What makes one to come for free? That's that's difficult man. I cannot believe we got top 10 actually. A lot of people are going to attack me before the end, I guess. Before the reset. Where are the gems, bro? Whoa. Whoa.
he has a big house, really. Kenny, welcome, my brother. Welcome. Good evening. How are you? How are you, bro? Sasuke Tsia. Bro, can I heal my troops when someone attack my city? Sasuke, welcome to the stream. Good evening. Yes, of course you can heal your troops. After they stopped attacking your city. When they stop when they stop attacking your city, you can heal them. Before they stop attacking your city, you cannot. So if you're getting swarmed, you don't have a lot of time. You have to You have to come here when you're getting swarmed. And start pressing all the time here to heal them instantly. Because they will attack you again before you have enough time to heal them. If it's just a rally, uh, then probably you have enough time to heal them. Kenny, how are you doing, brother? Yes, I got another haircut, of course, bro. Guys, I will have to start looking for a new job uh, soon, so... Yeah, I cannot live here, I cannot live uh, long beard and stuff, so you know how it goes. How is it going with your commanders? Well, I will try to expert this Liu Tse, and I will try to expert this Zhuge Liang. And then I'm saving gold heads for the next meta, co meta commander, guys. Doing good, especially now that we are registered. Yes, oh yeah, we are registered, boys. So enemy can kill my troops. Yo, no, your enemy can kill your troops. They can kill your troops. If you don't heal your hospital after you get attacked and your troops uh, keep stacking in your hospital, then eventually you'll start having deads. They will start dying. If you let your hospitals overfill, then you'll die. Your troops will die. You see here? Severely wounded units. I have 390,000. Like, space for 390,000. When this, uh, when my troops in here exceed this, like, uh, limit of 390,000, everyone dies. Sasuke, you have 1.5 sec to press heal. Yes, that's true. If you're getting swarmed, rallied and swarmed, you have, like, maybe less. Maybe less than 1.5 second. To spam heal. The only way that someone else can kill your troops is uh, if you're getting rallied or swarmed and you don't kill your hospitals. All the other ways to kill your troops is like it's your, it's your choice. If you attack a flag, you attack a pass. I lost 2 million T5, I'm sad. Last time they zeroed you, right? Forever. Forever. That's not, that's not why I came here. Oh, that's not why we came here. Building speed ups, silver keys. Jesus. That sucked. I mean, everything is dead. Forts. Rip, indeed. You have 1 million D5s now. That's more than me. I have nothing. I only have T1 Seeds units, guys. That's all I have. T1 Seeds units. Do your Sunset Canyon, boys. Trading dollars for pesos. I spent 100k gems for castle. Whoa. Why? That's too much, bro. 100k gems for castle. You don't like doing barbarian forts or what? That was your best move. Yeah, 
What did I get? <laughs> Bro, you don't want to know what I got from this gold chest yesterday. I got two times silver keys and one time speed ups. That was from you, Kenny. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you. Thank you for the goldies. Kenny is dropping gold chests every day, man. Crazy. Where is it? Let's, let's find it. Let's find the gold chest from yesterday. Oh. Here you go, guys. I got 16 hours and 8 silver, eight, uh, eight silver keys. It was three years ago. Oh, three years ago. That's okay. And here, there is another silver keys, bro. That's that's my luck. I'm used to it right now. Like I'm used to it, man. Like I know, I know. It's like ninety percent chance silver keys and ten percent chance like to get anything else. I'm I'm so close to thousand silver keys. <laughs> I'm so close to thousand silver keys, bro. Look at this. Silver key after silver key. Crazy. It's okay, I got some speed ups. I got some speed ups. That's that's nice. That's fine, bro. Thank you. Your second account, VIP 15. Wow. And still T force. Bro, VIP 15 is crazy on a second account. T force are fine. The force are not that bad, especially on a second account. Like, you have to have to get down there. I think. Bro, thousands, thousand three hundred sixty-seven days. Oh, bro, that's a very old account, man. Very old account. That's a very old account, bro. So guys in a week from now or almost a week from now we are going to open my inventory i will be opening everything can you imagine this the time is almost here we are almost there bro imagine that we are going to open everything soon bro i reached 100 legendary keys by the way i just noticed 100 legendary keys it's time to get this uh, skippy prime and nevsky like upgraded bro it's time. In the in the heart's desire event. Soon bro. Soon bro. I don't know if it's going to be next Friday or the Friday after or like somewhere there in between. But soon, like one and a half week, I think. In one and a half week and I'm opening everything. Bro, can I show you my city? It looks beautiful. Yeah, bro. Send me your city. Send me your coordinates. Where is your city? And I'll go check it. Your name is Bjorn in game. I don't think I can find you this way. Um, go up here. I go to your city. Then go outside and then send me this up here. Send me this location on uh, your location on the chat. It has to look like this. This is my location. Or this, yes, this can work also. Baba Bjorn. Oh, you're in KVK right now. I very much like this city. This is a very nice city. 
actually. I think I have to put my girlfriend to to make my city, bro. Like, if I really want to change my the way my city looks, I have to say to my girlfriend to sit down and and make a nice city because I don't have it, to be honest. My girlfriend probably she can fix this. Zira Rose, welcome, bro. What's up? Oh, Grider, welcome, welcome. Good evening. What's up, guys? Welcome. Very nice city, very nice city. I like it. How are you doing, guys? Almost time for KVK, bro. Can you believe this? Hog Rider, we are almost there, man. Finally. Unbelievable. It took, it took so long, bro. Crazy. Then the whole kingdom is gathering gems, bro. Crazy. Nobody's buying gems from the shop, bro. Lilith will go bankrupt. Guys, stop gathering gems. Let the gems for me. Nothing bro, just got Aether, first skill to 5, let's go, nice, just in time for Barbie event, MG, that's nice bro, by the way I hate Esmeralda, I hate Esmeralda also bro, Esmeralda hates me too, it's mutual, Esmeralda doesn't like me, I have never, I never went for an Esmeralda event, and I will never go bro. Just do like the 10 spins and that's it. Even the 10 spins is too much. 10 minutes for reset, bro. Finally. Reset is so late right now, man. For Europe, it's so late. Zinaros, you have to migrate to 3470, bro. You have to talk with the guys on 3470 and migrate there, man. It's, it's a very strong kingdom. Where am I going next? I'm gonna buy a motorbike this. Be careful, I don't like motorbikes, man. Very dangerous. But that's that's just me. <laughs> it's just CBA with everyone. Just go 3470, bro. It's an insane kingdom stacked. 3470. They are going to dominate KVK1. You are going to have fun. Yeah, motorbikes are cheap. That's true. Most of them, anyways. Oh, bro, I almost forgot. Almost forgot. Jesus, bro, hundred. Ah, that's that's exactly how much I needed, but just hundred. This is my first KVK and I'm using Bjorn and Sanzu. You are doing very well. You are doing very well. That's the best pair you can use on your first KVK. Someone is listening. At least someone is listening, bro. I'm on 3470 and nobody's listening. Nobody's going Bjorn and Sanzu. They don't listen. And very good for Rizap. Did you see my question on Discord? What is the question? No, no, you're not losing XP, guys. All the XP is saved. You're not losing XP, brother. All the XP is there. It's saved. When you put the stars and you upgrade the commander, he will get, like, all the levels automatically. All the levels he gained. Okay, guys, one try. Oh, my God.
rip. I'm not spending gems, not even 10 rip. Yeah, bro, you can farm, you can use him. World, mi World of Millionaires, welcome, good evening. You won past seven. That's nice. How is it going? You won past seven, that's very promising. You might win in, uh, in Kingsland also now. Good luck, good luck in Kingsland. I hope you had some good diplomacy, so... Is it worth to buy the pop-up bundle that give 50... P no, bro, it's not. Nothing purple is worth buying, actually. We might get betrayed by our... Oh, that's not good. That is not... That's... Like, if you want pass 7, then it's all about diplomacy, pretty much, in Kingsland, like... I mean, no, not really, because if your ally is, like, lose pass 7 on the other side, yeah, maybe the enemy is stronger, but... Like, diplomacy is so important. Like, how many times we saw, like... Allies betraying each other in Kingsland, it's insane. I hope you don't get betrayed because it sucks. What's funny and what's insane is like 50 50 to get betrayed, man. People are betraying so easy. So easy. Can you explain me the difference in zone? So, in zone 1 and in zone 2. You have low, lower level barbarians and lower level resource nodes than in zone 3. In zone 3 you get like from 20 to 25 level barbarians and you get level 6, level 5 and level 6 uh, resource nodes. It's because our allies they break on the other side, one easy fight because enemies... Oh, so they're super strong right now and they're demanding for what, like uh, stars and rewards and... Yeah, sometimes it goes this way, That's that sucks man. That sucks. I know, I understand. Yeah, every zone, zone 2, every time you can enter, like, the next zone is better than the previous zone. So if you can go zone 2, yes, go zone 2. Yeah, it's more, it's worth it, of course. Instead of zone 1, it's worth it, yeah. Then you have to, to be in like in the top alliances in zone 3, because in zone 3 it's going to be only like 3 alliances, most probably, 3 to 4 max, I don't even, I don't think so, like, not even three, not even 4. Because uh, right now I'm close to the guardians, yeah, go go as deep as possible in zone 3, I guess, zone 2, I guess. And then zone 3. Our allies camp are earth, daybreak, and wood camp. But they tell me to go deeper. Yeah, go deeper on zone 2, bro. Go deep in zone 2 and then when op when zone 3 opens, go there also. It is, it is worth it, it is. Should be, should be anyways. Well, I'm in zone 1 now with my free-to-play account and uh, it sucks, bro. There are no nodes, there's nothing. Only low-level nodes and half-empty because the noobs are just leaving them there. Like, they always leave some... Our guardians are very far. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how the map looks like on your. Uh... Normally, there must be. There are guardians in uh, in zone two, by the way, also. So you can teleport on the next guardian, so zone two. Anyway, I think we will, the we will be betrayed. I hope we actually get betrayed. My kingdom is very bad. Oh, bro. <laughs> you hope you are going to get betrayed. You are going to miss out on rewards, bro. If you get betrayed, you lose rewards. That's not good for your character, for your account. They got carried in KVK and now they trust Oka. Okay, I mean they will get punished. If that's the case, 
If that's the case, most probably will get punished. By the way, in the end of your KVK, if you are if you are season of conquest, for those of you who don't know, uh, if you are season of conquest, in the end of the KVK, you can migrate to any other kingdom that participated in the same KVK as you, with like only few passports, guys, with very few passports, which is very nice. Like, so if you like your allies and you want to migrate there, you can migrate there like super cheap. And my allies are literally leave all the level. Yeah, that's a problem. Can I get tilted? Yeah, no, that's a problem. Mulan Rock, Mulan Rock, welcome, welcome, good evening, how are you? People are, uh, people are leaving uh, nodes uh, half finished, unfortunately, all the way, all the time. Especially in newer kingdoms, they don't care, they don't know. How many farms do you have? I have six. I have seven, seven actually, but... I have seven, but uh, four of them are operational right now, the other ones are smaller. I'm making them right now, so... These are my farms. I'm going to my enemy kingdom, strongest kingdom in my KVK, also full of spenders. That's nice. Uh, good luck, bro. Good luck. I hope you you enjoy your the new kingdom. You zeroed two people already. What do you mean you zeroed? Do you attack their cities or you just kill their farmers on the node? Because if you attack their cities, I would suggest you to not do that, man. Because you are losing troops. Attacking a city, attacking cities early game is not is not a good idea, guys. Okay, reset is here. Let's see what do we get. What do we have? I'm going to do like few more spins on Esmeralda, I guess. Like spend my gems for no reason. If you had 700 gold hits, who or Nevsky? Oh, bro, that's very difficult to answer, man. That's very difficult to answer because Nevsky is right now on the daily chest. And Nevsky is also on the legendary tavern, so that's a very difficult choice, man. To make Nevsky or who? I don't think I would go for Nevsky. Like I think I think at this point it's better if you do like uh, a wheel on Nevsky. If you don't want to do daily chest or legendary uh, chests, I think maybe a wheel is better than putting gold heads right now on Nevsky. I don't think it's a good idea, to be honest. Or Skippy Prime. Either you do a Wheel of Fortune, either you buy the bundle, the daily chest, either you wait like legendary chest, I guess, and maybe you use like few of your of your gold heads, but not all your gold heads on Nevsky. Not right now, I don't think so. I left my alliance at zero two people cities, then came back. Oh no, bro. Be careful, don't don't save your troops, you need them. And it's not good also because you might <laughs> you might cause you might cause tensions and civil war, bro. <laughs> Don't attack cities, man. <laughs> you are in the same kingdom, guys. You are supposed to fight together next KVK. Don't zero each other. It's not going to end up well. Okay, let's let's do like the three last. Uh... Oh, it sucks. Sucks. I'm not. Gonna... Oh my god, bro. I'm not going to get this one because I'm training for pre KVK. Oh, that sucks. Okay, let's see. Oh, nice. That's good, actually. Thank you, Esmeralda. That's also okay. I mean, I will use it at some point. No, actually, it's very nice because now you can use it even in the KVKs, like. So it's fine. Well, that, that obviously is not fine. Okay. Here we go. We did Esmeralda. I will max on my... Bro, on your second account, I don't think that it even matters. Tell who or Nevsky. Who, bro? Who? You can get Nevsky from everywhere right now. No, it's okay. I have the permission of my leader. Plus, I will migrate, I will migrate anyway, so I don't care. You know better, bro. You know better. But me, I'm trying like to avoid every conflict. I'm not participating in conflicts anymore. That's it, I killed way too many troops.
last kill event soon, so I gotta grind it. Bro, you will raise your kill points in KVK, man. Wait for KVK, bro. Don't raise your kill points in your home kingdom. Max him now. Nice, nice. That's nice. Congratulations. I fought a lot also. When I started playing the game for the first time ever, guys, when I was a newbie and I didn't even know like about KVKs and stuff, like I knew, but on the Mightiest Governor events, I was trying to kill people also. I was killing, I was attacking uh, gatherers and stuff, but only in specific zones. Like we had rules. You could attack um, gatherers on like zone one or something. So I made a lot of kill points in the beginning, I think, but. <laughs> New players that don't really think about KVK yet or about Kingdom and stuff. It's too early. I avoid attacking, but last kill event I went from 0 to 2 million kill points. Yeah, bro, it's the fastest way. If you want to make a lot of points in uh, in Mightiest Governor, the fastest way is like by doing PvP, like someone feeding you kill points. Do we have some some new gem nodes now with the reset or something? Bro, where are the gem nodes, man? Oh my. Oh my, there are no gems. Oh, that sucks. I chased the entire alliances from tiles. It was fun. I tried to rally my city too. Bro, it sounds like you have lost uh, you have lost the control completely in your kingdom. It sounds like everybody's is doing whatever they want to do. Oh, that's not happening here. You have too many outlaws. You have Richard Wild. Keep it. Skip it. Don't do it. You don't need Richard. He's only for PvE. Save your money. Oh no! Oh no, bro. Oh no, man. I screwed this chain. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. But you are spending Zirare. You don't have a problem. You are spending. So I don't know. Maybe you can go for Richard like 5 1 1 1. Too late. Yeah, of course. Of course. Too late. It's always too late. It's always too late. I know. I know. Just go 5 1 1 1 and stop investing on, on Richard after. I guess. Since it's too late. Okay, sorry for this. And this this microphone is a bit problematic. Problematic, bro. Did you use money on this game? Yeah, I did. I did use money in this game. I used a lot of money in this game, especially in the beginning. I mean, I used a lot, but. Compared to other players, nah, not even close. But now, now I'm spending like 10 to 15 euros per month, guys. So yeah, 10 to 15 euro per month. Per month, sorry.
not anymore. All these new players on the new kingdoms, they're spending money like crazy. So I don't have to spend anymore. Lilith can get the money from there. And I finished rank 9 actually. No one attacked him, attacked me. Nice. Who spends money on games, right? Ken is not spending any money, guys. That's for sure. Ken is the last person that's going to spend money on a game. Bro, if I had more money, I would spend more money, but... Everyone is spending... As much as they can spend. As much as they can afford to spend. Like, it always depends on your budget. Like, I understand people are not spending. Some people are not spending. They don't have enough money. I understand. That makes sense. Or they have other priorities first. To sort out. If you can buy a thing 20 times, then buy it. To be honest with you guys, I'm spending so much time playing this game that I believe that this company deserves like a... deserves uh, some of my money. The same way I was paying for World of Warcraft expansions and World of Warcraft subscriptions. The same way you are paying to buy a PlayStation game with like 80 euro right now or something. Or you buy a PlayStation 500 euro. Like everybody that's gaming one way or another at some point or you buy a PC let's say. You buy a new PC. One way or another you are going to spend money on games or like... Uh, yeah something that has to do with games. Anything that has to do with games so... Spending some money in Rise of Kingdoms, especially if it's your main game and you play all day long, I mean, it's... It would make sense, no? It's okay, I think. I don't understand why people are hating, like, on people spending money on games. Like, uh, I don't get it why everybody believes that you have to be free to play or something, like... I believe that uh, all the games, like, should be fair or whatever, balanced, like... And I think that Rise of Kingdoms is pretty balanced actually because you can avoid all the whales and the krakens by choosing wisely your kingdom and you can also do a lot of stuff as a free to play to catch up and I mean there are way worse games for whales I think to whale in there are worse games I think Takare good evening bro how are you brother let's go indeed Let's go. Mm. 
Bro, I have to count my speed ups today, I think. It's been some time I didn't count my speed ups. I have to see if we are doing any progress, but it's going to be unfair, man. It's going to be unfair because I haven't opened all these things. Like, even if I count, like, I don't even know how many speed ups I have everywhere. Like, there are speed ups everywhere. That's one of the reasons I don't want to count my speed ups. Most probably I'll get uh, depressed when I count my speed ups because I haven't opened all these things and I have way more. Guys, thank you very much for the likes and the subscriptions, by the way. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Bro, every day we are getting closer and closer to 1k. It's unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable, man. I would have never thought of this, man. I would have never thought of this, bro. When I started streaming for fun, like... Bro, it's four months ago. Four months. Just four months ago, I started streaming for fun, and... We are almost on 1k subscribers. Nuts. Uh, Kenny, you have to, you have to spend the, uh, you have to spend when I'm live, bro, so I can open the gold chests on my stream for content. <laughs> so I can make swords, <laughs> so I can make swords with my luck. <laughs> the the live live experiment. Seems like this game's this game hates me. Why, bro? Why why? It doesn't it doesn't. It will come around, man. It will come around. It might look like it hates you, but don't worry. It will come around. You spin 50 times and only 30 heads. I think I think that's not bad, actually. 50 spins, 30 heads are not that bad, I think. I know now you have 8 heads and stuff, but... I mean, I have seen worse, bro. I have seen worse. I think I did, like... Uh... Wait. Let me tell you how, how much I did. Ooh, on one of my farms. Bro, on one of my farms... I tried to, to get YSS out of the wheel and I spent like 40k gems or something and I still didn't have YSS. Which means I spin the I spun the I spun span 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 the wheel like so many times. No, we don't have a wheel on my server, so I cannot really see. But anyways, like you can get unlucky like more than this, bro. More than this. There is worse. You should have been live yesterday, that's true. <laughs> that's true, bro. <laughs> I thought on wheels you are supposed to max out. Yes, normally you are supposed to max out. If you want to do it properly, yes. But on my farm account, bro, I wouldn't max it. Like I just went like for 10 gold. I wanted 10 heads. Bro, I wanted 10 YSS heads for my farm. And I spent 30k or 40k gems and I didn't have 10, 10 heads, bro. It, it was just not happening. It was a disaster. It was a disaster, bro. Disaster. You can always get lucky and you can always get get like super unlucky, man. Super unlucky. Or like with an egg event. Last time I did an egg event, bro. I got so unlucky. No, not the, not the last time. The time before that. Got nothing. On blueprints. But then... Uh, my luck was like better on the last event. So... You'll get lucky. You'll get lucky at some point. Bro, I'm trying to use CC and Richard with cavalry troops. Is this good? No, bro. CC and Richard, no. It's not good. It's not going to work, no. No, I mean, how many wheels you need to do to max out a commander? I think two. I think with two wheels. Mad many. I welcome. Good evening. Lamborghini incoming. Let's go, bro. I thought with two wheels you maxed out. Yeah, you maxed out with two wheels normally, yes. Yes, you do.
except if you get like a I don't know how unlucky you have to be to not max a commander with two wheels I don't know like you have to be really unlucky then what did I do wrong you tried to max Richard actually you did uh, you, you max you did two times max pain on, on Richard Lambo thank you for the raid brother Lambo thank you thank you thank you bro I appreciate it, man Guys, make sure you check Lambo. He's streaming almost every single day like me. And he's the real OG. Guys, welcome, welcome. Good evening. Thank you, thank you for the raid, Lambo. Thank you for the raid, I appreciate it, bro. Welcome, guys, welcome. Welcome, everyone, welcome. Again, one more time. 50 times is not a max spin, right? Spinning the wheel 50 times is not is not enough. It's not a max. I think it can go up to how many? How many times you can spin the wheel, actually? It's way more than 50. Yeah, 100 is max, right? 100. So you have to do... It's like 200 spins in two wheels. Where's my cloud bot? Cloud bot is not listening to my commands. So, there is a high chance. Madmania, Madmania, look at this. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here. <laughs> so, there is a chance. Me, Lambo, and Madmania. We are going to be, we are going to be on the same KVK. We didn't register for so long, bro. And now there's a chance we're going to be in the same KVK. Let's see, is the cloud boat here now? What? What happened with my cloud boat? So 50 a day should be fine, yeah, yeah. But the max spin is going to be 100. So you did, you have done only 50 so far, right? So when we say max spin, when I said max spin two times, I meant like two different events, not two different days. That's the thing. You most probably think that it's like one time, right? Bro, you will see who is Lambo if my cloud bot works. Where is my, let's see. I activate and deactivate my... It doesn't work, bro. I'll give you the link right now. Good night, Spartan, and thanks. For no problem. Anytime. Sasuke, have a good night. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime. Take care. Take care. Bro, there's a high chance we play against Lambo and his crew. 
in the upcoming KVK. So my cloud bot doesn't want to work, guys. But for you that you don't know Lambo, this is his channel, guys. He's raiding me almost almost every single day. So make sure you check him out. Drop a like and subscribe. He's a real OG. He has every commander maxed. So yeah, he's one of the real, the real guys. The, the first ones. He's one of the first ones. You guys dropped to CC at the end? No. No, no, we didn't, actually. We are still busy, so we will get some tough opponents, I guess. Which is good, because I want to fight a lot, so... I guess it's good, in the end of the day, but... We don't know yet. We don't know what's going to be, Kenny. But they registered also for... Um, for King of the Nile. Zero five looks pretty skinny though. Do we look skinny? No, bro. Why do we look skinny though? That's not so skinny, bro. I mean, it's, it's not it's not so strong, but it's not so skinny. Also, I would say. Hmm. I mean, you are right, actually. If you see our top 100, maybe you are right. And not all of them are going to fight, so probably you are right. Also, amount of gems. <laughs> I'm gonna start hoarding again. You have to be careful how to use uh, gems on events, bro. That's the thing, like... If you don't spend money, you have to be careful how you do it. It doesn't want to work. Cloudbot doesn't want to work. Technology. Technology is not ready for this. We don't want to be against uh, Lambo, by the way. Kenny, you don't want to see their kingdom, man. I'll show you their kingdom right now. And they got some, like, very good immigration right now. So they used to be dc and right now they are cc would so... I think it's a bit difficult to get matched on the same KVK because we are bc but you never know. So this is his kingdom. By the way, thank you for the likes, guys. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Look at this, bro. They have a lot of people, bro. <clears throat> 100 plus. A lot of people, 100 plus. A lot of people above 70. It's a pretty stacked kingdom. They're pretty active. That's the thing. Like, It's a one alliance kingdom. And they're pretty active. They have like 180 billion alliance skill points. I mean, even by spending... For 70 players, yeah, it's impressive, bro. It's because uh, Lambo is doing a very good job with migration, man. Lambo is getting very serious people in the, inside his kingdom, so it makes sense. It's a very serious kingdom. Looking, pre yeah, bro, Lambo is a, is a very mature guy, and they have a very mature kingdom, and they're doing interviews. You're not just migrating there or something. Like you have to do an interview, and they have to accept you, and. They are not super strict when it comes like to kill points and uh, contribution. They are not super strict. That's another good thing, but they have good people, man. They're getting good people in. I spent my 50k for more than gems, and I thought 30k were enough for Will. Let me calculate. Yeah, bro, it's, 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 never, bro, it's never enough. Especially early game. If you go for wheels like Richard YZ, bro, it's never enough. Fortunately. 
Yes, for sure. In general, you have to skip events, like even the speed up events and gold head events and all these events. You should be skipping also there. Uh, you cannot participate on every single event if you are not a whale or kraken. Skipping events is very important. Daily special is a uh, is a very good bundle, a lot of value in daily bundles, guys. But it's five dollars every day, five euros every day. Like it's it's expensive, man. It's expensive. It's stacking every single day. Nello FJ, XG stag. Welcome. Good evening. How alliance skill point zero five have? I'll show you right now. One second. Let me change this and I'll show you. This is our alliance skill points, guys. 107 billion. 170 euro a month. <laughs> yeah, bro. But the thing is, like, it's not so worth it, man. It's not so worth it. Doing dailies right now, it's not worth it, guys, to be honest. Daily chests. In newer kingdoms, I mean. And the reason that's the reason it's not worth it is because when you reach end game, they have a Skippy Prime and Nevsky on daily chest, which they didn't have before. So for those who are playing like in the new seasons right now, KVK one, two, three, like, don't do the daily. Save your money and do the daily on Skippy Prime and Nevsky, man. Commanders that you are going to use. Like Nevsky is still number one cavalry commander. Like, yeah, VIP points are the super worth it. Until you reach VIP fourteen or fifteen, they're super worth it. Yeah. You, you should be getting VIP points whenever you can from uh, from bundles and stuff. If you're buying something, make sure it gives VIP points. Pretty much everything is giving VIP, VIP points from the shop, but yeah. There are some things that they don't. Like these ones, they don't give VIP points, I think. Yeah. The problem is that maxing this KVK1 commanders is not beneficial in any in any way, man. You might have fun in KVK1, maybe you'll use them in KVK1, but other than that, KVK2 they're going to suck. Even he even if uh, he's expertised, KVK2 he's going to be useless. Because because then you have KVK2 commanders. You'll have people migrating backwards and stuff, and they're going to destroy you. That's the thing, like, you shouldn't be investing so hard on KVK1 commanders. Except if you are whale. Like, if you say I will go, like, 50 million power, I will unlock T5s, and I'm going to roll everyone, like... Then, yes, I guess, you can you can go all in in KVK1 commanders, but that's the only way. You have to whale. Yes, I'm aware of that and have accepted that already, but, but, <laughs> I'm going to max Richard and Charles Martel. <laughs> but it's fun to have stuff, man. yeah, let's go, bro, that's, bro, Lilith, Lilith will never go bankrupt, man, <laughs> but, I was waiting for this but, man, I was waiting for this but. What can I say, man? 
it's your account, it's your money. Um, they're not going to be useless. You're going to use them for one KVK. You're going to have fun. Richard is never going to be useless. You can chain with him. So Richard is not such a bad investment. Though expertising him is like a bit too much. But in general, Richard has as many uses. Now Charles Martel, Charles, the only use he's going to have is going to be like, he's going to be your garrison commander, let's say, on your city. <laughs> that's that's all. Like after KVK, two or three, he's done. You cannot even use him for PV. Like I don't, I don't even know. Like maybe you can use him on Sunset Canyon, the way I do, the same way I do, but. I mean, I did regret the wheel. He's regret. I will never do. No, you can do some wheels, bro. You will eventually do some wheels in the end game. For example, you'll save gems and you'll do wheels because end game season of conquest commanders they are on the wheel. So you will have to do it eventually, but you'll have to be careful. And they are they are way more useful also. So it doesn't really matter. Doing wheel, it's okay, but they must be useful. No, Season of Conquest Commanders are the, the meta commanders in the end game, like Zhuge Liang, Herman Prime, Liu Tse. They are not in daily chests. You cannot get them from there. All the new commanders, they are not on the daily chest. So you'll have to do the wheel. They are on the wheel. So one way or another, you'll have to do the wheel. But recently, they put other meta commanders, like Skippy Prime and Nevsky, because they are older, they are old commanders. They put them on a daily chest, which is very nice for people that just join the game. People that just start playing the game, now they can go in the end game and just unlock these commanders from daily chests. That's why I said save your money, because there is a lot of value in the end game, a lot of value. Yeah, hoarding sculptures, of course, is like number one priority. Like all the, all the sculptures, which they are not going to be enough, by the way, again. They will go to Zhuge Liang. German Prime, Liu Tse. That's why you have to get VIP 14 as fast as possible. VIP 14, for example, getting it as fast as possible is more important than doing a Wheel of Fortune on, on Richard or Charles Martel or... As long as you are on uh, on track for VIP 14, you are fine. Bro, I wish this event came like a few days after, on pre-KVK phase. Yes, from now on, every gem goes only on VIP and every purchase. Yeah, that's that's a good choice. That's a very good choice, bro. VIP 14 is a very good choice, man. Best choice in the game, guys. Best choice in the game is VIP 14. Better than anything else. It's okay, bro. Don't regret. Don't regret. I did some wheels also on Richard. Don't, do not regret. It's okay. It's fine. You'll use Richard, bro. When you go to Lost Kingdom, in the Lost Kingdom, in the end game, you'll use Richard. Chain Barbarian, so do not regret it, it's okay. Spinning the wheel on Richard is okay, guys. You can live with it. You'll use him on Sunset Canyon, you'll use him on Golden Kingdom, you'll use him to chain in the Lost Kingdom, you'll use him like. It's still 3 1 1. It's okay, just do it 5 1. Spin the wheel sometimes. Some more times, bro. Just spin a few more times. Get him to 5 1 1 1. Or just use daily chests. He's going on the daily chest also at some point. If you don't want to spin the wheel anymore, just wait for the daily chest. At some point, he, he will be on the daily chest. If I remember well, right? I think all these guys are in the... Yeah. So just, just wait for the daily chest, bro. Wait for it. Get him from there. I guess. I have no more gems. Yeah, just wait for the dailies. He will be on the dailies at some point in the future.
guys thank you very much for watching thank you for the likes again thank you for the subscriptions thank you thank you thank you but it's too late so late to max out stuff even from dailies yeah it takes time bro it takes time that's why i'm saying you have to be a whale or something because you should be maxing the shop every single day like you should be maxing the shop daily uh, pop-ups you have to buy all the pop-ups and you have to go lean then you have to get the um, mightiest governors because you have spent so much money that everybody respects you and they will give you your, the mightiest governor so yeah you, you have to approach the game in a different way if you are spending every day like that's the only way you can max things CC still 5132 after getting daily every day almost. Oh, bro, you are wailing, man. Zeraros cannot help, cannot help himself. <laughs> he went. Bro, I'm jealous, to be honest. I'm jealous. I hope, I, I wish I could do this when I start playing the game. I saved everything for YSG and VIP 14. I didn't go for CC or Minamoto. But if I could play, if I could go back in time, if I could go back in time and. I already knew how much money I'm going to spend the very first few months. Then I would have gone for Minamoto and CC. Like early. And expertise them. Because I ended up expertising Minamoto anyways. Then instead of going like for few CM heads or few like Richard heads, I would go for CC man. And just troll people KVK1. That's like a very nice choice. If you are about to spend money, like that's the way to go. Minamoto CC, I guess. That's the best way to go. Um, will he even be expert this bait? No, he will not. No, bro. Except if you start getting like 20 gold heads out of dailies on every roll. No, he's not. But you don't need him. You don't need him to be expert. It's okay, bro. He's still very strong. Like, every skill you're getting, and he's, he's getting stronger and stronger. It's fine. But again, how are you going to use CC? Are you going to fa to, to kill farmers? Because he's doing single target, and Minamoto is doing also single target, so you have to do, to use them in two different marches. And the talent tree of CC is not very good for open field PvP. He's good on killing farmers, though. Like you can pair CC with Belisarius and just kill farmers all day. Three kill points, just going all around the map. Nobody can catch you. You can get like the. The windswept, like full speed set, and CC with Belisarius and just kill everybody. But you must use buy bars behind Minamoto. And if you decide to use CC, bro, I don't know, like. I don't think there is anybody else that you can use in KVK1, no. Like, you don't have anyone else with AoE. What you can do is use CC with Ith Fled, for example. Yeah, I guess you can use CC with Ith Fled, KVK1. Or you can go for one versus one, yeah, but I mean in the open field... Mm. Or you can use him for, C uh, for Barbarian Forts. Like you can put CC primary for Barbarian Forts, for example. And Minamoto secondary. I mean, there, there, are, there are many ways you can use them, actually. Yeah. Bro, look at this. Everybody has T5s except of me. Except of me, bro. Everybody pretty much has T5s at this uh, at this age and time. Same as my account, except of me. Because I'm hoarding for Zenith of Power, bro. It's painful. Sometimes it's painful. Sometimes I wish I had T5s. Sometimes I want to push for T5s and just train for a Zenith. But I know it's not, it's not feasible. It's not possible. I'm not going to win Zenith like this. But I need the tree for the Aether Forts. Yeah, I mean. You can use Aether Fled as secondary though, behind CC. So you can, if your CC gets like really strong. Then again, I don't think you'll have equipment. There's no way you'll have equipment for two marches. Two cavalry marches, bro. KVK1, that's that's difficult. So no, better not do this. Just use Minamoto by bars and use Bjorn with, uh, with Sanzu. This is possible.
I don't even know anything about equipment. I literally need someone to spoon feed me the info. Bro, it's very easy. You just go here. You press this so you can see the sets. You go down here to the blue ones. You need one of these. That's for sure. Like KVK1, infantry. You need this, okay? That's for infantry. And then you're going to make this. Karwak's humility, if you get it. And then if you have these boots, you'll make the Scarlet Hounds, if you have these boots. Like, you need infantry health. Then after you do this, you can move these like pieces of windswept. After you get the Scarlet Hounds, let's say, you can move these like other pieces, like these boots. You can move them to cavalry, for example. Uh, you need gatekeeper shield. You need everything that gives health, bro. For infantry health. So your infantry march, you need all the items that gives you infantry health basically to begin with and then for uh, for cavalry you will have to to forge these two because they're both for cavalry and then fill in with the windswept set so for cavalry you you forge these two and, and windswept set and your cavalry is done basically for kvk1 except if you get lucky and you get like some from the epic stuff and then again i don't know if you are going to have enough like uh, materials to forge like two sets Two sets are too much, I think, if you don't spend two good sets. <laughs> Creatine, welcome, brother. Yo, I'm supposed to watch Left This Spartan. Do you know when he starts? He has saved yet with a great beard. <laughs> What's up, brother? From equipment, I got a gatherer purple set from a bundle. Yeah, it was worth it. It's super worth it, actually. This bundle is one of the best bundles in the game. One of the highest, like believe it or not guys, one of the highest value bundles in the game is the purple uh, equipment gatherers one. The one you get like as in the shop like on KVK1, before KVK1. That's an insane, uh, insane bundle, believe it or not. What a quick nap. Oh, let's go. Quick nap, refreshing. You are refreshed. Good luck on ruins, bro. Good luck. I put it in Matilda. I mean, put it on your best commander. So you can uh, gather as much as possible and as fast as possible from the Alliance resource like node. Use him. Uh, use the equipment on gathering on this uh, Alliance resource nodes. That takes time. I'm fucked, bro. Sounds white fled versus Sokoma. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. Matilda and Constance are my best for Okay, okay. Use the Matilda, I guess. Yeah. Eight days until you say. Let's go. Finally, you'll be able to play the game. Because I saw the Omniarch video and dropped all my purple heads of Matilda in other ways. Why? What did what did Omniarch said about Matilda? What? Matilda is a good investment, of course, but no, KVK one, I, I don't know. KVK one, you need Bjorn and Sanzu, yeah. It's okay, you have enough time, bro. You can go for uh, Bjorn and Sanzu. But what what did Omniarch said about Matilda? Is this a new video or what? You shouldn't be fighting on the KVK1, yeah. Anyways, it doesn't matter, bro. You are going to use Matilda. Matilda is good for gathering. She's going to be your primary gatherer for the stone until uh, KVK3 or something. Until you get enough gold hits in uh, Cleopatra. So it's fine. Bro, I'm going to use I'm going to make a 
on my next on my next video guys on my next offline youtube video that i'm going to put like some tips together one day i don't know when i'm going to do it but i'm going to explain what are the best pairs for uh, for gathering because even for gathering believe it or not you must have the correct pair <laughs> there is a pair for every node that is doing better job than the rest faster speed on gathering so I just have to put this in a video, man. What? He did say that after you go first kill, five level on Sanzu and Zoan, you should... Why? But why? For KVK or what? It was on his beginner guide video. No idea. So the pairs, guys, listen. The pairs when you are farming should be like this. Normally. These two are for, who These two are for wood. These two are the best for wood. Okay? Quintamara and Constance. These two are the best for wood. These two they have to go together. Uh, Seon Dog and Zone of Arc. So, these two are the best commanders for gathering, especially when it comes to gold. They're going to drain the pit as fast as possible, by the way. Some people say that that's not so good because it's not, uh, it's not good for team play, let's say, because you are draining the, <laughs> the gold pit so fast or whatever. But anyways, this is the best pair for gold. Okay, so I'm using for gold Seon Dog with Zone of Arc. This is the best pair for wood. This is the random pair. This is the last pair. You use it like for a generic like uh, gathering. So for stone, this is the best pair for stone. Okay, Cleopatra and Matilda, they are gathering stone. And then you have... Uh, for food, you should be using Isida with Gaius. Okay? Your pairs should be looking like this in the end game. If they don't look like this, then you are doing it wrong. But of course, you, sh you have to bring everything 5 here, right? This has to be 5. So you get 30% food, 20% food. You get 25% wood. Where is uh, Constance? 20% wood. And goes on like 25 stone, 30% stone. So, yeah, this is endgame stuff, but... Arifin, welcome, brother. Welcome, good evening. What's up? And talents do not matter on secondary, indeed. Bro, the beard is long time gone. Guys, now you'll see me occasionally occasionally saving my beard. It's gone. It's finished. I'll have to look for another job soon. And I cannot... I mean, until I find another job, I don't know if I can have a beard or not. It's not going to help me on the interview, unfortunately. He said to focus on Gatherer. Yes, you should focus on Gatherer. Wait, let me show you. But not, not in this way, like, not going all in on Gatherers. Like, you should focus on Gatherers, but not all in, bro. Let me show you, man. It will take some time. So here on my free-to-play look... Like, you have to bring everything 37. You have to bring this to 5. So local skills bring this to 5, for example. And then and then you have to chill. You have to go for Bjorn and uh, Sanzu, basically. But you shouldn't be spending these heads, like, early in the game. Except for Bjorn and Sanzu, to be honest. But slowly... I mean, I don't know, bro. To be honest with you, I would wait until pre-KVK and see how am I going to spend my my epic sculptures. Wood is Isida Gaius, yep. Wood. Wood is Constance with uh, Amara. Amara of Georgia. Stone is uh, Cleopatra with Matilda, yes. And Seon Dog with Zoan is for gold, yes. Normally, yes. And then you have like the random march, which is like uh, Sarka with uh, Sarka with uh, Centurion. This is your fifth, your fifth like uh, gathering march, which you can use for whatever you want. This is generic march. But this is like for end game because your Isida, your Isida is not uh, is not maxed like his second skill is not maxed so don't try to do this like right now don't try to do these pairs because you have to max this you have to max this you have to max this 
or you have to bring it to four actually. To be honest with you, you have to bring them to to skill. You have to bring the skill to rank four. Okay. When you have rank four on this skill, then you can use them as a primary. You can move the equipment, and then eventually you'll get the, the number five or whatever. But until then, they are not ready. And it's crazy because in that game, many people are just using them randomly, bro. They don't use them right now, like this, like this, like, and they're missing out. People that are playing the game five years, bro, and they're not using them like in correct order. They have never noticed the buffs, like. Zone is secondary, yeah, but only when you, only when your, uh, your second skill on the primary commander is like rank four, level four. You don't need the talent tree, no. Only the primary commander. Only primary commander talent tree counts, matters. Don't level the legendaries at first. Yeah, Kratin is right. So what you do, listen, what you do in a new account, you start with the blue commanders. First you bl bring blue commanders to 37 and they use, you use the blue commanders as, pri as primary ones. Then you move on epic ones. And you move your, your epic commanders to primary ones. And then you move to your legendary ones and you bring the legendary primary it takes time don't forget centurion and gold yeah centurion early game is insane yep i use the gather on for gems as well If you want the max out of your resource gathering uh, marches, that's the way, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Let's go, the gold, man. Constance, the gold, bro. She is going to chop everyone. Like fucking wood. Bro, you're going... <laughs> you will push on expedition, man. You'll put Constance to tank everything and you'll push on expedition. Put Constance, Matilda, full siege units on expedition to tank and you will reach, bro, expedition 100 in one day. How did Constance <laughs> How did Constance went 51 bro? That's value. That's some next level value. <laughs> it's okay, shit happens bro. <laughs> shit happens. I have Matilda 60. Oh let's another let's go bro. But first when they said invest, I thought everybody has to go 60, right? To get some border. I thought the mental in. Yeah, bro, I know, I know, I know, I know. Can happen, I guess. Can happen. See, it happens. Good mind at face for max move speed. Let's go. Then everybody's a perfectionist on the chat, man. Everybody's a perfectionist. We are going to do it like Lambo. We will bring everyone to 60. Everyone to 60. For the sake of it. Gem Gatherer Supreme. Yes, let's go. Gem Node to Gem Node. I had, I had some, uh, some materials in here. Look at this legendary match, bro. Look at this legendary match. I mean, eventually I might go everyone 60. Yeah, one day, bro, the dream. Guys, thank you so much for all the subscriptions and the likes, guys. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. 
Thank you so much, guys. Zeraros is like full perfectionist, man. He cannot. He cannot hold, bro. He cannot hold. He wants everything 60 and max like day one. Day one. Imagine if the storms went to beyond. Yeah. That's why it's very important early game, if you're not a spender, to be careful how you. How you use like everything books, sculptures, everything. You have to be careful. Every mistake counts. It's very difficult to correct a mistake on KVK1. Big mistakes. Now, this is okay. It's okay. But I had people like I had uh, I had new players in my alliance of my free to play character that they were thinking that like one 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 Richard and one 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 Charles Martel is fine and they were investing, bro. They were investing like stars and books on on one 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 legendary commanders, KVK one commanders, bro. This and who knows? Probably sculptures also. At some point, they would put sculptures legendary on these commanders like universal. These are huge mistakes, man. Kenny, what's up, bro? What happened? What happened? I don't know if I spend only on special daily. Am I considered a spender? Yeah, of course you are a spender, bro. Everything you spend makes you a spender. I don't know how to step away from it. Nothing special, brother. Nothing special. Here we are discussing about like uh, how your commanders, how your marches should look like when you are sending out your gatherers. We are discussing about new players and uh, their achievements. Like, did you know KVK1 was making his. Uh, Include two continents now, really? Oh, I thought it was only one continent, no? When did they change that? Oh, that's not nice, bro. If it if it includes two continents, there's a high chance we'll get like a very strong opponent. I thought it was only one continent. When did they change that? Oh well, that's strange. Well, we got some pictures from my from my new kingdom, the free-to-play one, and they are only counting four kingdoms, bro. They are only counting the continent in their spreadsheets. So, are you sure? Lilif money milking some whale well in KVK one, lol. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Soon I'm about to enter a KVK one on my. Supreme J, thank you for subscribing. It took it took too much time for YouTube to show me the the notification. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, bro. I think it's the same continent still, to be honest. Or now at least, because at least in my kingdom they have the numbers only for a continent. Prospect. Welcome. Good evening. How is it going? Also, now what should I do with Lucent Scroll? Bro, Lucent Scroll you should buy it all the time, but if it's about to expire, do not buy it. Maybe you'll not have enough time to max it. Maxing it is like super important. Yeah, yeah, if you want to migrate, skip it. You're going to lose it again, bro. Yeah, yeah, so skip it. Don't do it. You are not losing a ton of value, bro. Don't worry. You'll get it back. You'll get it back afterwards, man. <laughs> You're going to lose a ton of value when you migrate and you have like uh, the loosen scroll like half done. Then you're going to lose value. Yeah, Lilith changed a lot. Of, I remember that they were trying to change the way matchmaking on continents worked. I think I think I saw it somewhere at some point, but I didn't know if they implemented it. 
if the system is here. This game knows how to put the foam on in you. Bro, you'll be fine, man. There is a loosened scroll like every week or something. Every, every month, sorry. Don't worry. Like that, like that 30 day supply research speed up. It used to be 7 days. This, this one used to be 7 days? Bro, I don't even remember. Bro, I don't even remember. It used to be 7? That's strange. I think you are right. You might be right, actually. Yeah, I mean, Lilith is changing a lot. That's true. Time to do Barbarian Strongholds, guys. A Barbarian Stronghold. What's Karwak Ceremony? Karwak Ceremony is a very nice event, bro. You have to do it. You have to max it. You have to reach the final level. And then you have to do an event with your alliance. That you're going to kill some other mini bosses. It's going to give you a lot of gold, uh, gold heads, bro. Universal Legendary Sculptures. Very nice rewards, indeed. Bro, look how close I am to five to 50 million power and I cannot get it until this guy is finished training. But I have a barbarian event for MGE too. Well, you'll have to sacrifice some AP on Karwak. Karwak is more important, bro. I think, except if you want to steal the MGE. If you're about to steal the MGE and get like the number one spot or something, which is like 300 heads or something, then yeah, I guess you have to focus on MGE. Another way you have to do car work. <laughs> uh, are you going to steal the MGE? <laughs> Nobody doing Barbarian on MGE. That's, that's also correct. Like, you must have an event for Barbarians. Don't, don't, spend, don't spend AP, bro. Don't spend your AP bottles on doing Barbarians for MGE. I can easily go top 5 without pushing, really. That's nice. That's very nice. Okay, which Barbarian stronghold are we going to do today, guys? Oh my god. Oh, this one, I guess. In the other side of the world. Or this one. Thirteen, 13 minutes. This is it. Yeah, spend your bottles on Karuak, bro. Do Karuak ceremony. If you are going to spend your bottles, spend them there. It's better you you go high on your MZ by doing uh, PvP, bro. Dueling players. Just find some some players in duel. Okay, boys and girls, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for keeping me company. Thank you for all the likes, all the subscriptions. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. But the time, I think, has come. I think that's it for today. 
Um, hopefully, I will stream tomorrow or the day after. The day after, for sure, if not tomorrow. So, hopefully, I can see you again tomorrow or the day after. Zilaros, send me on Discord, bro. If you have more questions, send me on Discord. So, everyone, have a good night. Take care. And thank you again, guys. Thank you again. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.